focused. Yes, we are. Oh shit, what did I just turn on? We're good. Okay. Yo, what up, hey, how you doing guys? My name is Sanja, today we are back with another video and today we're gonna to be talking about or showing you guys some of my most recent purchases whilst I've been in LA and I figured I would take this opportunity to show you how I've styled them and kind of make it like a outfit diaries, what I wore in LA, forward slash recent pickups. And whilst I'm here, I also wanna take this opportunity to actually talk to you guys about one of my most recent drops and that is for rework. Now I've mentioned this before, we are basically taking apart old vintage pieces and recreating them and repurposing them. So drop one was primarily shirts. They've sold out and I'm ever so grateful and thankful for your support. Drop two is going live this very moment. So 6 p.m. London time. Links will be in the description box down below so you can check it out. And the jacket that we have in hand is this beautiful Carhartt vintage reconstructed jacket. I went to source five different vintage pieces, took them apart, kept the lining intact, and then reconstructed them in a very sort of needle-esque style, if you wish to call it that. They come in a variety of different sizes, so I did take on board what some of you guys were saying. So we have smaller sizes ranging from small, some that are more medium-large, and then I think there is one or two that is potentially an XL. So do check out all the measurements and, and all that information. Such a sweet piece, if I may say so myself. I am ever so slightly biased, but you know, it is what it is. Like I've stated previously, I don't have a merch line yet, so this is kind of a good way for me to put something out there. And if you guys enjoy it, then fantastic. If not, then that's cool too. With that being said, let's just move on to the pieces that we copped whilst I was in LA. Starting with, quite possibly, uh, the biggest purchase of my time here, we have some shoes. Now these are, if some of you guys might recognize the box, these are the infamous Rick Owens Dunks. Now, I believe these are the 06 or is it 08? Cease and desist versions. I have the Milk Dunk colorway, which is white all over. This one has some hints of black here and there, and I think it's so sick. I mean, let me just get closer to the camera so then you can kind of see it without it, the lighting being all over the place. Just crazy, crazy detailing. I love the color, and as you can see as well, this one is in a lot better condition than the one I have back in London. I saw this floating on Grailed. I dropped the guy a message because I knew he was based in LA, so I sort of took this opportunity and was like, listen, if I'm in town, let me come and cop these off you. And I did just that. Now for the outfit for these, we've paired it up with my rough, official rough, rough t-shirts. I absolutely love the cut on that piece and the faded vintage look to it, the, the graphic. It just fits amazingly and I absolutely love it. Then we have the Stadt Ballet, which I actually have right here. The Stadt Ballet brown trousers. Again, an incredible garment. I'm so surprised at the fact that I did not purchase these initially when they first came out. In fact, I was super lucky. I reached out to Kaylee just because she posted something about the brown pants on her story and I said, listen, I missed out on them. They were sold out on the website. If by any chance a 30 pops up anywhere, be it in an old storage box or someone's returned them or whatever for what reason, or whatever, reach out to me and I will cop them. Incredible, took them to my tailor, I did shorten them. I've left them fairly wide in the leg and uh, they fit absolutely incredible. Now I wear them over the shoes. I know that some Rick heads probably aren't gonna to be too keen about that because they wish to showcase the tongue and the exaggerated nature of the shoe. Completely understand that, but I think for me and my personal style, I prefer it worn over as opposed to tucked under. And then to wrap it up, we have the Colette Hyatt bag which is genuinely like my everyday bag whilst I'm out here. I've also attached the bare knuckles bandana with it just for that extra pop of color. And yeah man, super easy, vibey outfit. I posted this on IG, it did quite well there. So that's always a, a good thing. And um, yeah, that is outfit numero uno. Moving on to pick up number two, I went to the Chrome Heart store and I ended up getting two tank tops, two ribbed, wife beaters, whatever you want to call them, I refer to them as tank tops. They are absolutely incredible. So I've got one in a black colorway, boom, just like that. Ribbed, you've got the logo on the chest, and then a fat one in the back. It also says Chrome Hearts right at the bottom here. 
you'll be able to see that right yep so you've got that in black and we've got that in white now i went into the chrome hot store to either get one of these or uh, the long sleeves i think the long sleeves are absolutely fire but they're just so loud and i don't know if i am to get it I'm thinking maybe a vintage route for a long sleeve might be the vibe. But these tank tops are absolutely fire. I thought I was going to sneeze. I'm not. Uh, yeah, what was I saying? These tank tops are absolutely fire. And I've paired them in a fairly basic manner. On top, we have the Bare Knuckles shirt. It's one of my favorite shirts. I did not realize how much I was going to be wearing it whilst I'm out here. I think the cut of it is just perfect. It's sort of shorter in the body, but still very boxy. It sort of has that oversized flowy nature. So worn over a tank top. It's perfect, especially for the weather out here in LA. Then at the bottom, we have my white needles track pants. You guys know how I feel about the needles track pants. I think super comfortable, they look insane and they can be worn with multiple sort of styles and footwear. In this case, I wore them with the black SLP leather quiet boot. Boy, did it get insanely dark here. But you can wear them with sneakers, you can wear them with loafers, you can just whatever, you can get away with most things. Super clean, at least I'd like to think so. Uh, very easy to pull off, anybody can do it, basically. And if you don't have any white trousers, then you can wear it with black trousers and it will look just as good, if not potentially better. But yeah, that is that for outfit numero due. But then last, but certainly not the least, one of my favorite pickups out of the bunch, we have one of the new season Raph Simmons knitwear. Now, I know that a lot of people, well, for some reason, a lot of people were very pissed about this item because obviously he saw the popularity of the high I Heart New York pieces and just recreated them in a bunch of different colors just featuring RS, which can be seen as lazy design and it's just a cash cow. I completely understand it, yet it's still a buff piece and one that I'm glad to add to my collection. In fact, I'd like to say a massive thank you to the beautiful people over at Forward for sending me this piece. We've done some bits with them in the past and um, yeah, they're just great people. They've sent that to me and I was like, yes. Thank you. Now, truth be told, I didn't get that much wear out of this piece whilst here just because the weather has been absolutely boiling. So this is definitely a piece that I'm going to be rocking a ton whilst I'm in London. Pairing this, we're going to keep it very simple. Once again, much like the other outfits, we have my vintage white t-shirt, Station Casino. Now, obviously you can't see the t-shirt besides the bottom hemline, and that is purely worn due to the cuts. I think it cuts really nicely, especially with these cropped jumpers, be it this one or the bare knuckles. There's just the right amount shown at the bottom. It's not too long, it's not too short, it's perfect. At the bottom, we have my vintage trousers from House of Vintage. So this was what, a US Army? Like the Vietnam Army War trousers. Insane color, insane fit, super baggy. Slight distressing and fade here and there, but they just incredible trousers. And then we have the Rick Owens Ramones, the Rick Owens Babel Ramones in the sort of translucent greenish colorway. What more can I say? Super simple outfit. In fact, one of the things I like about this fit is the fact that you can literally change your shoes. And I was initially gonna wear it with the off-white Jordans, the white ones, but then I thought it would be a bit too matchy-matchy with the top being white and the shoes being white. If I was to cuff up the trousers, you can also wear them with the black combat boots, but I figured, you know what, let's just go for something real simple. But that is going to conclude, actually, that's a lie. That is a lie, give me a second. Mm. Then the last two pieces, which I'm actually not going to be showing an on body just because they don't fit as perfectly as I'd like them to be to do right now. I was sent the summer set from Kira. Kira, one of my genuinely one of my favorite sort of up and coming new brands. Now we've got the summer set in the white ivory colorway and we've got the summer set in the black that features both the shirts and the trousers. Literally incredible pieces. But the shirt is a tad bit too long and the trousers are very long. Now you can stack really nicely when you're wearing it with boots or whatever. It kind of has that very elegant finish to it. But the shirt itself, I'm just going to go to my tailor, get it cut to a length that I prefer and then show you guys the piece in all its glory because I feel like if I show it to you now, it's not going to highlight truly how well that piece uh, looks and feels. All right, excuse the absolute mashup face, but I just woke up, I was just editing this yesterday, last night, and I thought, you know what, I should really include it, because there is one way that I did wear it, and I think it's absolutely fire, and it's not this way. 
So this is just the white set. The black set is right here. I just wanted to show you guys the details as well. Just look at that, the pleated detail on the fabric. And then if you can see it, boom, super flowy. White on white is obviously definitely more daring. And to finish it off, I have the from the first leopard print. But bear with me for two seconds and I'll show you one way that uh, looks quite cool. Boom. If you, I know it's very dramatic, but if you basically tuck the shirt into the trousers and you put it up ever so slightly, you've got this sort of Elvis Presley look to you. And I actually think it's quite fire. Like it's very fire. It just looks like what, like, a, like an army overall, but obviously a lot cleaner. What do we think? Some people are absolutely gonna hate this whilst others might appreciate it. Look at that pleated, boom, 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 boom. And like I said, it's quite long, so they, you know, you get quite a bit of fabric towards the end, which doesn't look too bad at all. And also, sorry for whispering, but like I said, it's about 7.30, and uh, my boys are still sleeping, and I don't want to wake them up. So, boom. Lovely jubbly. And, you know, you'll see these again when I'm back in London tailored and better. So bear with me to show you those pieces and thank you to the boy Michael for sending those over. I'm as always super appreciative and grateful for the opportunity. Links to pretty much everything that I've mentioned today will be in the description box down below as well. And yeah, don't forget to check out the rework piece. I'm so hyped and I'm gassed for, I think there's only five of them, so I'm gassed for five people to cop them. I'm excited to see how you guys are gonna pair it. And hopefully I might do some more in the future, depending on, on how people feel about it and yada, yada, yada. If you wish to follow me on my social media, it's all right here, S-A-N-G-I-E-V, that is for my Twitter and Instagram. Like I've stated before, everything that I've mentioned today will be in the description box down below. That is it from me. Have a beautiful day. Take care. Peace. Boom!